Hello, welcome to this presentation of Mobile to Sage. My name is Aura Martirosian and I'm going to show you how to enter timesheets for Sage Payroll remotely using an iPhone, an iPad or a web portal. So what's Mobile to Sage? Well, it's an architecture which allows you to share information from within your office, from multiple applications, externally, securely, via the web to mobile devices, desktops, PCs, Macs, as well as browsers. It's a hosted solution and it works on pretty much on any version of Sage. So for this presentation, I'm going to basically look at the um, opportunity of entering timesheets remotely. So from a Sage perspective, there will be projects sitting in Sage. So we're going to first upload the latest project lists to the application. Then we'll go into an iPhone and enter a timesheet remotely. Then we'll go into an iPad and enter timesheet remotely. And finally, we'll do exactly the same thing using a browser. Having done that, we'll then authorize the timesheets and import those into Sage as project transactions. And finally, we'll produce a file which can then uh, be used in Sage Payroll for doing timesheet calculations and so on. So let's start off by uh, looking at Sage. So over here, I've got Sage 50 with a list of projects. So the first thing I would do is, uh, let's say I'm going to duplicate that and I'm going to call it uh, Project 008 and I'm going to call it uh, ABS EPOS 3 just for the sake of it. So I've now in effect created a completely new project from scratch here. Now I need to share that with my mobile users. So I do that by just um, opening the admin console which looks like this and at the moment the projects that are available to my mobile users are only got to number seven so what I can do is just say update all and it will go through and there we go project A is now available for me to use uh, uh, on my mobile devices great so let's start putting some timesheets in from scratch so here's my iPhone And what I'm going to do is I'm now going to, I've logged in already, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to press the plus button at the bottom. I'm just going to add a new timesheet. And there you go, there's number eight I've just put in. And I started at seven o'clock on that particular thing, and I finished at 10 o'clock, uh, and I did some consultancy. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pretend I did this on the 2nd of June. And you'll see why in a second. So there you go. So that's that one done. I'll put some comments in. I can just save that. So that's what that looks like on an iPhone. On an iPad, I've got more desk space. So let's do exactly the same thing on an iPad. So there's the iPad. And what I'm going to do is do exactly the same thing again. So I'm going to press the plus button on there. And I'm going to go and pick up project number eight. Uh, I'm going to do that on the 3rd of June. And uh, I uh, already did that timesheet, and I start that one at 8 o'clock, finish that one at uh, 12 o'clock. Uh, so that's four hours, and I um, prepared a report for that one. And I'm just going to say done for that. There we go. So that's now done and dusted. And uh, there's my particular timesheet on an iPad. So those are the two that I've now put in on an iPhone or an iPad. Now let's go and do this on a browser as well. So if I go to the browser. Right, so here's the web browser where I'm going to enter a timesheet. So I'll do exactly the same thing. I'll press the plus button. And uh, at the bottom, I'll then go and pick again Project 8. And I'll do this one on the uh, 4th of June. And uh, again, it was Aura. And this one I started at 9 o'clock and finished at... Um, uh, for uh, one o'clock let's say and uh, I did uh, a drove for meeting on that particular day and that's it done and dusted uh, so uh, having done that that's the timesheets now entered on the iPhone on the iPad and uh, on the web browser now in my admin console if I go to the exports folder I can then just have a look at all my new timesheets and those are the new timesheets so it's immediate there's no emailing data or anything like that there's only one truth and uh, as people enter their data uh, remotely across uh, multiple devices the console from the head office can uh, is, is automatically updated so I've done it some on Tuesday some on Mondays and you can see on Sunday I have got a, a double time 
in effect. So even though I've worked four hours, it will be charging me twice as much. So it's eight hours. And that's my daily rate. That's what I did. And over here, I've just uh, got some basic authorization. I'm going to get Roger to authorize that one, Raphael to do that one, and Roger to do that one. So those are now authorized timesheets. Now, as far as Sage is concerned, I've got no transactions in this project at the moment because it's a it's a brand new project. So, so what I'm going to do now is um, close that off, go in here, and all I'm going to do is press one button, and that one button will then import those new project transactions into Sage 50 as project transactions because they're timesheets. And having done that, it will then also create a new file, which I will then use to import into Sage Payroll. So the same timesheet information is being used for two separate things. So if I look at my log file and uh, go to the last row, I can see that those project transactions were successfully posted. So that's great. So let's go and have a look at those now. So if I look at the activity on that, there we go. Consultancy prepared the report and drove to the meeting. Nice and simple. Excellent. So my, pro my, my project transactions in Sage are now fully updated. The final thing I need to do is post that transaction into uh, my Sage payroll. So if I go and have a look at my current payroll, and uh, uh, let's go and have a look at that and go to the last record, which is ARA, I can see I've only got three timesheet entries at the moment. If I close that off, and this time what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to be importing it from my uh, payroll export. If I continue with that, I can see, there you go, Aura Martirosian has already been done. And if I save that time and get rid of it, it's already been imported. If I now go back into that and have a look at it, there we are. So I can see that's now got in as double time. Obviously in Sage Payroll, I have a different department and cost center. And in Sage, I have project codes and cost codes. So there we are. So the same timesheet has now been entered into Sage Payroll and Sage Projects. So what are the key benefits of uh, Mobile to Sage? Where well, it's uh, very quick and easy to set up, typically less than a day. Uh, it's very cost effective to run. You can expand and reduce your users as you require them. Uh, there's a free trial, so please let us know what your requirements are and uh, we'll be happy to discuss those with you. And it also works with any version of Sage, so there's no need for you to upgrade to the latest version. The key benefit of it is that you can share data uh, within and externally uh, to your organization so you can share it with all your uh, stakeholders staff customers suppliers and so on and uh, in this particular example the previous process was paper-based so paper-based spreadsheets pa sorry paper-based timesheets as well as uh, excel spreadsheets that's now all been changed with a custom app and that's what this is very very good at so if you have processes that require uh, staff to enter data and then for that data to be re-entered then uh, uh, mobile stage allows you to create a custom app so what do you do next? Well, as I said, there's a free trial, so please uh, feel free to contact us to discuss your requirements. And also there's a YouTube channel which shows uh, all of our uh, key products and um, solutions. So please have a look at that. And it's very easy to create a prototype. So if there's something specific that uh, you had in mind, so again, please contact us and let us know what you need and uh, we'll do our best to uh, provide you with a prototype to test. Thank you very much for your time and interest in uh, Mobile to Sage and uh, Remote Timesheet Entry and uh, look forward to hearing from you in due course. Thank you.